Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, if you've seen my last video, it was about the internet computer and my perspective as a hub leader within the program. So take a look at the video if you haven't. Uh, if you have taken a look at the video and now you're interested to you know, experience the internet computer protocol for yourself, then the next step is to create an internet identity. And how we do that is quite simple. You have to go to Google or any other uh, search engine, type in internet identity, you should come up to this page, right? So um, you have to be careful there. If there's any ads, we never put ads. And you come to this page. Now, when you see that little logo there before this page appeared, uh, that actually means that this website, this entire front end is actually uh, a smart contract on the internet computer. How cool is that? So you have entered the Web3 world, congratulations. And here you can create a new identity or you can use the existing one. Since uh, this is a totally fresh computer, uh, I'm going to create a new one. But let's go through some of the features. So the um, it's, uh, of course, secure. It's uh, convenient. And instead of using passwords to sign in, all you need to do is uh, authorize the use of a passkey. So I'm using a Mac right now. And what that actually looks like when I log in is, uh, you know, it actually uh, the, a prompt pops up where I can actually use my fingerprint or if I prefer, you know, I can type in a uh, password. Now, uh, there's no tracking, uh, this web tree. So you have uh, your privacy secured. And um, this uh, internet identity will help you manage uh, authentication keys that are created for you know the various apps. So you have full control uh, just by using this identity. And uh, it's uh, something that is uh, really convenient the moment where you know you have to start you know creating private keys on different chains and uh, stuff like that and handle multiple wallets so so for those of you who are uh, somewhat experienced you'll realize that this is actually going to be a problem uh, down the line and of course when you use the internet identity you can also access something called the network nervous system the nns here so the nns is literally the DAO for uh, the internet computer is the main DAO. now every d app may have their own DAO. So you can create something called SNS, which is a service net network uh, nervous system. So um, yeah, you can sign in, you know, to Web3 apps. Uh, you know, it's open source and it's transparent. So if you have any doubts, uh, yeah, you can dig deeper. Now let's get on our journey. So I click um, create a new account, uh, create a passkey. Okay. So I'm not sure whether you can see it, but I see a pop-up on my screen, right? And the pop-up on my screen basically just says that, uh, would you like to create this uh, passkey for Internet Identity app? Uh, I'm going to click OK. And uh, my Google Chrome uh, on my Mac is prompting me to use my Touch ID or my password. So I'm going to use the Touch ID. So there you go, right? So I need to prove, you know, I need to complete this capta. Hey, I'm not a robot, but you know, they're not convinced until I do this. And it's verifying. Uh, it's taking a moment. Okay, did I just... Okay, I've totally failed, right? So I'm going to retry it. And hopefully it goes well. Yeah, this is not the perfect video, I have to tell you. Okay, so let me try this again. I'm really bad at reading. I just realized that. And okay. I'm being verified and hopefully everything's okay. And there you go. Here's my internet ID, uh, 22901799, some random number. Okay. So, uh, so I should copy this, uh, but basically it will appear every time. So I don't feel like I need to save it. So I need to continue. How do you like this uh, little astronaut? I, I love the little astronaut mascot. I hope we can do more of it. Okay, so pass keys, right? So uh, pass key to use whole asset security sign in the app. Okay, so I'm going to add a pass key. Okay, and here's the pass key scan the QR code with your device. So I'm um, using an Apple. Mm, here's my iPhone. Okay, now I'm able to click on it. Uh, just did a face ID. Again, it's re uh, reloading the, the page. Mm, I'm using face ID as well. Just convenient. Um, yeah, people are divided on a face ID. Uh, and yeah, and I have a pass key on my um, iPhone here. Okay. So I'm going to, you know, type this code. 
that I've been given. Okay, cool. So I have a, I have a new passkey. I can continue to internet identity. Okay, so here it is. And um, yeah, and one of the, so that's a passkey for iCloud. That's really cool. Uh, but now what we're going to do is a, something a bit more. Okay, so I'm going to go to NNS, which is the down, right? So if you don't know what it is, I always type uh, in a computer NNS, right? And here we go. Sure enough. Here's the page. Uh, just clicked on it. We're waiting to get in. And here we are in the NNS page, right? So this is not the DAP page, just the landing page. So I'm not sure whether you can see this, but um, now I'm at the, I'm at the uh, page where the D app is at. So let me paste it here. Open a new window, but let me paste it here so you guys can see. Okay. So what we get here is really cool because you have internet computer, uh, ICP token, and the next thing you have is CKBTC, which is a, a digital twin of Bitcoin. So how it works is that uh, this account is actually connected to an actual Bitcoin account, right? Except that the private keys is being held by the network. In fact, it doesn't even exist in its full form, right? It's a sharded version of the private key somewhere like on the network, and that makes it doubly safe. Right, so you have CKBDC, you have some of the really cool apps, Dragons, uh, Open Chat, Connect, Hot or Not, uh, Ghost, which I think is like a meme coin, uh, if you do that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff, right? But what I want to do is uh, access my NNS, so I have to click this button here. And uh, when I click this button, you know, it shows me a different page. Okay, so let me see whether I can... So it shows me a, oh, okay. So I can't do it this way. So I have to do it the other way. Okay, so I, you can't see it, but uh, essentially it's asking me to uh, use my internet identity. It actually said, choose which one. Uh, I'm here, well, I'm able to create a recovery phase, uh, which I, I highly recommend if this is gonna be like a, your major account where you store a lot of coins for long term, but uh, I, I'm, I choose not to, right? So let me see. Authentication successful. You may close this page. And when I go back, I'm expecting to see some sort of login. If it's hap not happened already, let me try it again. It should be really quick because, you know, I'm just like, yeah, using my fingerprint to verify super quick. I don't have to type anything in. And, and yeah, I'm, I'm in actually. And uh, let me see whether I can, let's see. Okay, so I'm in another browser. So let me type, let me push this onto this browser. Okay, there you go. So, so this is super easy because you can have multiple identities uh, and then you can just add an account anytime, a uh, newly linked account. Uh, Ledger, I believe, is supporting this. So I think Ledger is available. I'm not really sure. Let's find out, though. Um, uh, can't find out from there. Anyway, so newly linked account, right? So so testing 01, my new account. So this way is really cool. So for me, most of the time, I like to create a new wallet whenever I'm expecting payment for someone, because then I can track when the, um, you know, um, yeah, when this uh, transfer actually come in. Now on the left bar, let's go to new neutron staking, right? So when you have some ICP tokens here, and of course you can buy on popular exchanges, including Binance, uh, into this uh, account, then you can also uh, stake the neurons, right? And when you stake the neurons, like you can stake, you know, a few, uh, there's not enough in the, in the balance, it's fine. But um, when you stake into the neurons, essentially you get, essentially you get, um, what do you call that? 
uh, yeah, you get some rewards. So the minimum staking is, I think, six months if you want some rewards. And the rewards is actually higher the longer you stake. Uh, if you want to stake up to something like eight years, it's fine as well. Uh, if you you know really believe in the project, in fact, there there's a record of uh, you know millions of tokens being staked for eight years. Um, I think that stat is somewhere out there. You can probably find it. Uh, yeah, and you can vote on proposals. Um, that's really cool. Uh, and there's a launch pad. So uh, as we mentioned earlier, we have something called SNS for the D app. So for example, if Dragon uh, is a popular app and they decide to decentralize the access, what they need to do is to actually do a, uh, something called a decentralization cell. So when you do the decentralization cell, in effect, it also issues the tokens, which also becomes uh, by default the governance token uh, of the protocol. So this is something, this is a feature that's really cool. I think it makes it super easy for anyone to come in and uh, launch. And this is where you can manage your uh, canisters as well, right? So you can create canister, uh, you can fund it, uh, and yeah, and you can change uh, the ICP token into something called cycles. So again, remember we have a reverse gas fee model, which means you know users when they send and receive technically don't have to pay like a transaction fee unless it's something specific like CKBTC, which is like you know ten sats only, um, and uh, why they want to you know receive. You know some minimal fees because uh, the canister actually you know uh yeah consumes cycles right so you convert uh, icp uh to cycles but cycles get used up as you're using the smart contract so obviously there's like a minimal fee just to ensure that you know the uh, the app doesn't run into a loss right so so this is the, the most important thing to know um i think you've learned two things today uh, one is how to get an internet identity uh, and the second thing is uh, to how to create an uh, NNS uh, account, right? Which obviously includes like these, uh, you know, wallets. So that's it for today. I hope you like it and I'll see you next time.